Hi boys and girls, in this video I'm going to be going over math assignment 6.01, fractions to decimals. And um, this is just sort of a follow-up to the instructions that I was giving earlier in the other videos, uh, part one and part two. If you haven't seen those, make sure you watch those because that'll give you some more examples of how to solve these problems in today's assignment. Um, it'll make it a lot less confusing. I'm just going to go over some quick examples of what I want you to do to solve these. Today, I want you to look at the directions. The directions will tell you what to do here. It says convert the following fractions to decimals. And that's all you're going to be doing in this worksheet today is just changing the fractions that are listed and then right next to it, putting equal and then putting the decimal that you get after you divide. Let me show you what I want you to do. Let's say, for example, on your paper, I'd like you to late number your paper so you have the answers. It makes it a lot easier to check your work. The very first one is 5 sevenths is equal to, so I'm going to go ahead and on my paper, I'm going to be writing 5 over 7 is equal to, and then I'm going to be turning that 5 sevenths into a decimal. And as you remember in the videos, that's going to be done by dividing. So it's important to show your work, to show how you got that answer. So what I'll do is I'll turn my paper sideways, I'll draw a dividing box to get myself ready, and my numerator is the number that's going to be going inside the dividing box. So I'm going to go right over to here and put the 5 inside my dividing box. And then I will take my denominator and I'll put that as my divisor on the outside. Boys and girls, it's very important that you carefully put your numerator inside and your denominator outside your dividing box. That's how you convert fractions into decimals. Do not do it another way because it usually gets you confused. So do the dividing way. Now I kind of went on a bit of a little bit of I went out a bit of the lines here. So I want to stay in my lines. It makes it a little bit easier to stay in control. Now to convert something into a decimal, like I showed you earlier, um, you basically take and take the numerator, which is five, and divide it by the denominator. So right now I can't multiply anything by seven to get five. So I'm going to put a zero on top, add a decimal dot after the five, bring the decimal dot up, put the decimal dot right to the right of zero, and then I'm going to continue. Seven times zero is zero. Five minus zero is five. Now that I have my decimal dot, I can annex a zero. I'm going to drop the zero down, and that five becomes 50. I know that 7 times 7 is 49. 59, 50 minus 49 is 1. Now I have a remainder, and boys and girls, I'm going to continue on until I get to the thousandths place. So I'm going to annex another 0 in my hundredths place, drop down the 0. I now have 10. 7 times 1 is close to 10. 7 times 1 is 7. 10 minus 7 is 3. I'm at the hundredths place, so I'm going to continue on until I get to the thousandths place. And I may, if I get a remainder, just go on one more and round. So I'm going to drop down my remaining zero. Seven times something is close to 30. That's seven times four is 28. That's pretty close to 30. So what I'll do is I'll put 28 underneath my 30 and subtract. 30 minus 28 is 2. Now, it looks like I have a remainder, and I'm at the thousandths place. I want you to continue one more place value until you get to the ten thousandths place. Add a zero, and then just go seven times, let's drop down our zero. Seven times two is close to 14. It's close to 20, which is 14. 20 minus 14 is six, so I have a remainder. I'm not going to worry about my remainder of 6 right now. I'm going to pay attention to the 2 that I used when I did 7 times 2 is 14. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right here. I'm not going to divide anymore. I'm done. I'm then going to look here at my digit that's in the thousandths place, and I'm going to round to that thousandths place. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my 4, which is in the thousandths place. I'm going to look at my two, which is in the ten thousandths place, and decide whether I'm going to change the four or I'm going to let it rest. Well, two is less than, two is less than five, four or less, let it rest. So I'm going to go ahead and leave 
is four unchanged. I'm going to get rid of the two because I'm rounding. And I'm just going to write as my quotient 0 and 714 thousandths because that's now rounded to the thousandths place. I'm not going to worry about the two. What I'll do right now is I'll go ahead and then write that into my answer right here. 5 sevenths is equal to 0 and 714 thousandths. I'm going to stop at the thousandths place. I'm going to round if I need to when I get to the ten thousandths place. And that's what you do for today's assignment. You're going to be doing all 18 of these. I'd like you to make sure that you write them as numbered here. That way when you're checking them tomorrow, you won't have any problems with finding your work and seeing your answers. All right, boys and girls, if you have any questions, first go back and look at the example videos that I did to give you some more idea of how to subtract or to uh, find decimals by dividing. If you still are struggling with this, feel free to email me today. I'll be happy to help you out with your answers. Bye-bye, boys and girls.